So recently, I have a chance to play with ChatGPT, which is an AI platform that lets you talk with the actual AI. But the most interesting is, aside from chatting about various topics like normally we usually did with Chatbot, it seems this AI was trained to be able to write a code. So in this video, I'm going to ask the ChatGPT to write us a CSS and some JavaScript and try to run the result. Ready? Let's check it out. And here's the ChatGPT interface. Looks like typical chat messaging app. So let's start with asking it if it can write CSS. So it can and seems like it also dropping us the definition of CSS too, along with some examples. So let's start our first test by asking it to write uh, HTML and CSS to create a card layout. Mm, so far so good. Um, that's it. Uh, looks like it's trying to write a bare minimum code to create a card layout, but still very impressive. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to try to run this code and see the result. Well, crude as it may look, but actually the AI did what it was asked. Well, maybe I wasn't specific enough with my instruction. So this time I will try again, but explicitly says that I want a beautiful card layout. <laughs> Interesting. It seems like this time it's trying harder. It's trying to add a style to the title and subtitle, even add the image. Oh, it looks like it's crash. Well, maybe this is about um, some limitation since this is a free account and the code was quite long. All right, I try again this time and it didn't crash. The code looks a bit different though, but let's see the result. Well, a little bit better than previous time. Still far from usable in production, but um, probably good enough as a skeleton code for beginners. But still, it's mind-blowing to know that this is an AI-generated code. Alright, next let's try a button. I'm looking at the code, it seems it's trying to write a bare minimum code again. Um, let's try again, but this time I will tell it I want a very cool CSS button design. One thing I've learned from um, this interaction is you need to be very specific when asking AI to do something. Oh, looks like we're going to have hover effects this time. Okay, let's run the result. Well, it's a functional button, but I think we still need to train the AI more about the definition of very cool design. Next, let's try something more complicated. I'm going to ask it to create the CSS animation. Hmm, interesting. Next, let's try JavaScript. I'm going to ask it to write a function to validate credit card information. I think it's a very practical use case typically found in real-world application. Seems like it's taking some time to think. Oh, here it comes. Hmm, 
OMG. This AI is our enemy. Developers are going to lose job to this AI maybe in the next 10 or 20 years. Well, let's test the code. You know what, at this point, I'm really scared. Well, let's try another example before we end this episode. I'm going to ask it to write a code to remove uh, the minimum value from the array. A very, very common code that I dare to bet that many developers usually didn't write but copying from Stack Overflow instead. OMG Not only it didn't just write the code, but it also explained and gave the example on how to use it. My friend, our developer existence has been threatened. I'm going to be straight with it. Do you think you can replace the real developers in the future? I do not have the ability to think or make decisions like human. I am not capable of replacing a real developer. Well, my good sir, I hope you still give the same answer in the next 10 years. So let's wrap up this episode. As you have seen the result, the future is here and now. And personally, I think it has lots of terrifying potential. I can see that AI is going to play important roles in software development, at least as a tool to assist the human or in the extreme case, replace the human completely for a non-critical development process. In my opinion, there is no other choice for us except keeping ourselves relevant, keep learning and adding more skills that AI couldn't replace, and that's all I could think of. That's all for this episode. If you love this video, share it, like it, and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.